Hey everyone, today we're making a flight system. I provided some animations for today's video, link in the description. We'll be going over a lot of different things today. Let's get started. Starting in our event tick, we're going to get velocity. From that, we're going to get rotation from X vector and promote its return value to last velocity rotation. Next, we're going to get our camera's field of view using a F and terp. For target, we're going to promote this to a new variable, desired FOV setting its default value to 90, using world seconds for delta time, and promoting the interp speed to a new variable, FOV interpolation speed. Set this default value to six. Then off of our F interp return value, set the camera's field of view. Next, set the camera boom socket offset. Get the camera boom socket offset, then use a V interp. For the target, promote this to a new variable, desired socket offset. For the delta time, use world seconds, and for the interpolation speed, it'll be three. Next, a branch using is flying as the condition. Then we're gonna create a new function calling this calculate flight rotation. We're gonna get the active rotation, and off of this, make vector of X and Z values using a select node. Next, we're gonna get velocity, split the pin, then vector length, splitting the pin again, using velocity X and Y, checking if vector length is above one. Use this for the select nodes index. Then get our last velocity rotation, splitting the pin, make vector using X and Z, use for true. Then add another select node, plugging our previous select node into the false pin. Then we're gonna promote index to a new variable, fast flight. Then we're gonna get control rotation using a make vector and plugging that into our true pin. And create a return node, plugging our make rotator into it. Next, we're gonna create another function, update actor rotation smoothly. We're gonna add three inputs. One, target, which will be a rotator. Two, constant speed, which will be a float. And then another float, smooth speed. We're gonna add our interp to constant. The target of the interpolation node will be our target from our function. Using delta world seconds for delta time, Use constant speed float input for our interpolation speed. Promote the current pin to a new variable, flight rotation. Then set that variable on the constant's return value. Add a R interp2 using our flight rotation variable as the target. Our current being get actor rotation, delta world seconds for delta time, and our smooth speed input from the function for the interpolation speed. Next, set the actor rotation from the return value. Now back to our branch. Add, add the update rotation function and drag out the calculate function for the target of our update rotation function. Set the constant speed to 800. Promote the smooth speed to a variable, flight rotation interpolation speed with a default value of six. Now onto our movement inputs. Promote left slash right world direction code to a new function. Calculate left slash right direction. Set this function to peer and then promote the action inputs x-axis to a variable. Plug the variable into the movement input node scale value and promote this to a function as well. Calculate left slash right axis. Set this function to peer. Now promote the forward slash backward world direction code to a new function. Calculate world slash backward direction. Set this function to peer. Promote the action inputs y-axis to a variable and then plug that variable into the movement input node's scale value. Promote that to a function, calculate forward slash backward access, and set the function to pure. Inside our left slash right direction function, add a select node using is flying as the index, then add another select being fast flight for its index, get the control rotation using a break rotator, then a make rotator using only Z, get the right vector, and then plug into the false select. Then get control rotation and get rotation x vector from that, make vector, and then connect all of them except for z. Add a in range float from z, duplicate it for the top one, set the minimum to negative one, set the max to negative 0.1, the bottom one, minimum set it to 0.1, and the maximum set it to one. Add another select using the top range for the index, duplicate the select node using the bottom range for for the index, then use the rotation x vector z for both of the trues. Add these two selects together 
and plug into the make vectors Z. Inside our left slash right axis value, add is flying, then a select node using the is flying as it's the index condition. Add the variable axis into false, then create another select node. Add the fast flight boolean using it for the index, set true to one, and for false, we're gonna add the variable axis again. Now inside forward slash backward direction input function, we're gonna add a select node using is flying for the index, default direction into false, and then we're gonna get control rotation. Off that, get rotation x vector, split the pin, then a make vector using x and y only, add a in range float from Z, duplicate it, add a select node using the top one for the index, duplicate the select node but use the bottom for the index, then use the rotation x vector Z for true on both, Add both of these selects together and then connect up to the vector Z. Back to the range floats, top one, minimum set to negative one, max set to negative 0.1. For the bottom one, minimum set to 0.1, max set to one. Plug into true on the select node. Now inside our forward backward axis function, create a select node using is flying for the index, the axis variable for false, then another select node using fast flight as the index, then our axis variable will be for false again, setting the true to one, then plug select into true for the previous select. Now to our jump action input, get the movement component, off of that get movement mode, switch using our movement mode, and connect the switch to our input started. On walking, plug into the default jump function, then create new events for enabling and disabling flight. Now back to our switch, off falling, call enable flight, off flying, call disable flight. Now to our Enable flight event, get the character movement, set the movement mode, and for the new movement mode, set this to flying, set orient rotation to move to false, set braking rotation flying to 6000, set max acceleration to 6000 as well, duplicate the enable flight code down to disable flight, then for the movement mode, set this to falling, then on orient rotation, set this to true, braking deceleration flying to zero, max acceleration to 1500, then set the desired socket offset, promote it to a new variable, default socket offset, Set this to whatever you like your default to be. For me, I'm going to do 150, then 40, then 20. Set desired FOV to 90. Set max fly speed to 800. Get your camera manager. Stop all instances of camera shake. Duplicate this. And before we can continue, we need to create our camera shakes. So create a blueprint class, legacy camera shake. This first one will be for loop. Duration to negative one. Blend in time to 0.2. Then our raw oscillations pitch and yaw will have the same following values. Amplitude to one, frequency to 50. Then on the lock oscillations Y and Z will also have the same following values. Amplitude to one, frequency to 50. Then we're gonna create another legacy camera shake. This is for the start of the fast flight. Set our duration to 0.5, our blend in time to 0.2. Then for the raw oscillations pitch and yaw, this will have the same values as before. Amplitude to one, frequency to 50. Same thing for our lock oscillation, Y and Z will also have the same values. Amplitude one and frequency to 50. And make sure to click single instance to true. Back to our character, set the first one to loop and our second one is the start. This will go into a do once, up into its reset input pin. Off our do once is completed output pin, we're gonna add a start legacy camera shake from the character player from the player camera manager. Duplicate this. First is our loop with 0.1 scale. Second is our start with 0.5 scale. Next we need to create our fast flight action input. Create a new action input, add two triggers, one for down and release, then add a new mapping in your IMC using the new action input we just created. Then setting the key you like to use this for by clicking the keyboard button and pressing said key. Back in our character, add fast flight action input, off trigger, branch, using is flying as the condition. Duplicate this down to completed, set fast flight to true on top, false on bottom, set desired FOV to 120, on top, 90 on bottom, set desired socket offset to 150 for X, 0 for Y, 90 for Z on top, default on bottom, set flight rotation interp speed to 10 on top, 6 on bottom, copy our enable flight values and paste them to the bottom of our input, duplicate them to the top, set braking to 15,000, same for max acceleration, then 3,000 on fly speed, back to the bottom, Set deceleration and acceleration both to 6,000. 
For speed, promote this to a new variable for default flight speed, which will be 800. Duplicate the stop instance nodes to the bottom of our fast fly input. Connect up to the do once reset. For the top fast fly input, this will connect into the top pin of the do once. Now with our character code done, we can start working on our animations. Now import the animations provided, which all will use the UE5 mannequin skeleton, SK underscore mannequin. Just to note, all following animations that I set up for additive will use local space and selected frame of an animation. So I won't be going over that every single time. In hover additive, its pose is the hover idle pose. Next, for all the leaning animations for hover, we're gonna edit selection and property matrix from the asset actions dropdown. For all their poses, they use hover idle pose. Next, same thing for the fast flight lean animations, they use fast flight pose. Now with the animation setup, let's create a blend space for the leaning. Of course, this is on the UA5 mannequin skeleton again. Inside the blend space, our horizontal axis is our left slash right animations. Vertical axis is our up slash down animations. Both axes will share the same settings. Minimum is negative one, maximum is one. Snap to grid to true, and smoothing time to 0.3. Now in the grid, our center animation will be the lean zero. Then place each lean animation accordingly. L to the far left of the center, opposite for the right. Then U far up from the center, opposite for D for down. Duplicate this blend space and replace each animation for the hover animations. Now for the animation blueprint, open up Manny. Replace character cast and variable to third person character. Get the fast flight from character and promote it to a new variable. Connected to the sequence. Get the character movement component. Getting our movement mode from it and promoting that to a new variable as well. Then get our character again and get the last velocity rotation, promoting that to a new variable as well. Next, let's create a new function, calculate flight lean. Get our last velocity rotation variable, then use a get delta rotator, promote B to a new variable, previous rotation, split the delta and divide Y and Z by world delta seconds, add map range clamped from Y's divide. In range A, it'll be negative 180, in range B, 180, out range A, negative one, out range B, one. Duplicate this, plug in Z's divide, top range will be a local variable, target Y, bottom range will be another local variable, target X. Then a F in terp two, target is our target y variable then promote current to a new variable lean y delta time uses world delta seconds interp speed is 15 then set the return value to our lean y variable duplicate this code promote current to a new variable lean x replace each y variable to the according x variable finally set the previous rotation variable using the last velocity rotation next in our animation graphs main states create a new state alias to flying transition from this to a new state flying on our alias, for the checkboxes, we're going to set locomotion to true, jump to false, fall to true, and land to false. For our state transition, get our movement mode, then a equal equal for an enum using flying, then set the transition duration to 0.5. Onto our land and falling aliases, set flying to true. In our flying state, create a new state machine. Inside this, add a new state hover. Next, a state alias to hovering. For the transition, add fast flight, then a not boolean node with a or boolean node. Second pin being should move with the same not boolean node. Add another state alias to fast flight, which will then go to another state named the same thing, fast flight. Transition for this is our fast flight variable with and boolean node with the second pin using should move. For the to hover state transition duration, this is 0.3. Then on the to hover state alias, set fast flight to true, and on fast flight's alias, set everything to true. Now let's add the animations in these states. First, hover. Hover forward pose, then apply an additive using the hover lean blend space, which uses our lean float variables. Off of our previous additive node, add another additive node using our hover additive animation. Make sure to set the hover additive to looping. For this additive, we're gonna set the alpha to 0.5. Add a blend poses by bool using should move as the condition. Then set the true blend time to 0.6 and the false blend time to 0.8. Our previous animation code will go into the true pose. For the false pose, Copy our pose sequence and apply hover additive nodes. Replace our move 
pose sequence with our idle pose. Finally, connect up to the output pose. Next is our fast flying state. In here, add a state machine, then add a new state, intro, which transitions into another state which is loop. For the transition condition, get relative anim time remaining intro, plug into an equal equal pin being zero. Next, add an and boolean node using fast flight as our second pin. The intro's animation will be the fast flight enter animation. Make sure looping is off. Add a, an apply additive using our fast flight lean blend space. Same thing, which uses our lean variables. For our loop state, Duplicate everything we just made and replace the animation sequence with our fast flight pose. For the transition duration, set this to one second. Next, let's fix the template states for jumping and falling. Inside the to land transition condition, replace this with our movement mode equal equal enum using walking. Inside to fall loop transition condition, same thing except use falling. Inside to jump, again same thing, except only replace the is falling boolean on the and boolean node. Finally, we're gonna use our enum again with walking as a condition, plugging into our control rig node. And there we go, we have now created a superhero flight system. Feel free to customize and expand on this in your own projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon where you can become a member and get access to all tutorial project files. Thank you for watching, see you next time.